Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you another cool way to create an intro for a video, slideshow, whatever, inside Photoshop. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create a text layer and I'm going to write down Photoshop. And now I'm just going to control A, that's select all, select my move tool and I'm going to click right here on the top so it's nice and centered and now I'm going to deselect and, I, and obviously bring down touch something like so now I want to do something else I want to add another text layer so tutorials and OK and once again select move tool select all and now it's proper centered and deselect. Uh, I'm going to just bring down a touch, something like so. Very cool. And to make it easier, I'm just going to shuffle. So Photoshop is on top and tutorials on the bottom. So now what I want to do is I want to add a layer style because it's cooler. And I'm going to add bevel and emboss. So what I want to do is I want to change the technique to chisel hard depth quite a bit size something like so and soften just a hair yeah very cool and I want a stroke not in black I'm going to change like a blue but slightly darker nah it doesn't work so let's go for slightly lighter yeah this will do <coughs> excuse me yep yeah, and it looks okay actually drop shadow as well so let's bring distance yeah that's cool and now I want to have the same layer style in this tutorials layer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold alt option on the Mac click on the FX icon and drag the icon to the other layer and there you go very cool and we can hide all of this just clicking on these arrows so now what I want to do is I want to right here on the icon I want to hold control or command on the Mac and click and that will load this as a selection but as you can see when I zoom it only selects the text itself it doesn't select the layer style, styles I've applied so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select and I'm going to modify it and expand and let's see 10 pixels uh, yes it's not bad yet yeah, that will do actually I'm going to undo that and I'm going to for 15 so modify expand and 15 because of the yeah now it's covering the entire drop shadow very cool and now I'm just going to click on new layer mask icon and there you go and I'm going to hold alt or option on the Mac and I'm going to click the layer mask and as you can see this is what we've got so very cool so we're going to do exactly the same thing to the other layer so holding control loading the, the selection select modify expand and as I used previously 15 pixels it will maintain those 15 pixels and very cool and add new layer mask so first thing we're going to do is unlink this layer mask and it's very simple just click right here between the this the text layer icon and the layer mask icon or thumbnail and now I'm going into the window and I'm going to, because I'm using CS6, I'm going to click Timeline. But if you're using CS5 or CS4, even CS4 you can do this, you can go to Animation. It should be here because it's in alphabetical order. So Timeline, there we go. And uh, now let's go to the Photoshop layer. And I'm just going like so, so we can see what's happening and as you can see we can animate the layer mask so what I want to do is I want to animate the 
layer mask position so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click right here on this stopwatch and I'm going to move the layer mask well, in this case I'm going to move it down make sure you've got layer mask selected and I want to make sure that it comes down proportionally so I'm just going to be holding shift so until everything disappears and now I'm going to two seconds mark and I'm going to bring it up and sometimes it can be a bit hard to be very precise with this so I'm going to show you a nice trick that I normally do which is I didn't I haven't I went back uh, so we're back where we were and I'm going to show you a nice cool trick so it's we click animation uh, before we click layer mask position I'm going to where I want to show the entire text so in this case it's two seconds mark so now I click layer mask position so when I move back like so I can just now drag the layer mask as before but now we don't need to be guessing to show the text because once I let go it creates a keyframe so as you can see now it starts showing the text and uh, now let's say that we want to show this text for a second so we're going to three second mark and uh, what I normally do is having the remote selected I just click my down arrow key just once so it adds another keyframe and as you can see you don't see the difference but for a second it's showing the Photoshop and now I'm just going all the way down and uh, once again select it with the layer mask selected I just want to let's say move it to the side like so yeah like this until it's gone so pretty cool so let's do this with the other layer so what I'm going to do is I'm going just to zoom out so I can show you what I'm doing and I'm going to tutorials layer select the layer mask and I want to show Photoshop tutorials at exactly the same point so what I do is I'm going to select Photoshop layer and I'm going right here and instead of trying to guess where this keyframe is I can just click right here and go straight to this keyframe so now I can select the tutorials layer and layer mask position and now we can just go to the beginning and we make sure that you have your layer mask selected and uh, let's say I'm just going to move it something like so something like this and as soon as you let go it creates a keyframe so now I'm going to select the Photoshop layer just because I want to be exactly on the same point the keyframe so I'll press next frame next keyframe and now select tutorials layer and uh, layer mask and now I'm just going to nudge down once with my arrow key and add straight away keyframe and now I'm going to the end and in here I'm actually guessed quite well and uh, in here so let's see I'm just going to nudge it to the side like so until it's gone very cool and but like this, so now I just want to reduce my working space like so. So let's see how it looks. So I'm just going to make this like this and click play. Actually, I'm just going to look at this. Very cool. Bear in mind, still rendering, that's why it's not very smooth 
but as you can see now it stayed for a while and then now it will start going away again very cool so now let's go back to the beginning and hit play and as you can see much smoother now very simple and very very cool that's it for now thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye for now